Salud. Za zdrovje. Salud. Prost. Suha, bliat. We're just getting straight to smoking, bro. <laughs> we're just getting straight to the fight. We're, 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 we're just gonna freelance. Be like, well, let's just get high and nah. <laughs> this is high Joe, and wasted, and, and hopefully the universe will take care of the rest. This All is right. Joe Rogan experience, guys. Hey, man, have you ever done DMP? <laughs> <laughs> we're not playing any punches, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ronda Patrick. <laughs> Dr. Ronda Patrick. Dr. Ronda have Patrick. you ever seen dude, it? Dude, Chris Cyborg, bro. What are you guys talking about? It's what, about dude? Chris Cyborg. Oh, man, she's No, hot. no, Ronda. <laughs> You're talking oh. about the health expert, right? Oh, I thought you were talking about Ronda Rousey. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Ronda Rousey? Oh, no, Ronda Rousey. I just heard Ronda thought MMA, so I went straight to Chris Cyborg. Dude, she's... Ronda Rousey went to wrestling now, you know? Mm. Like, she's not like, like one of the WWE, like, wrestling type of person, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, she's using, like, her judo throws and everything, like, the, because that's where, you know, the money is now, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, you can still make money at UFC, but a lot of UFC fighters are actually, like, super underpaid, too. Yeah. Did you see how Trump uh, got into the... What is he? What did he do? He showed up at the UFC. Um, Who? Trump with uh, Dana White. Yeah. Oh, no, did he? Yeah, he met Dana White, and he was like, "We want our sports back." <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> he was using the UFC to like promote reopening again. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. 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 The Corona. Yeah, oh, at the damn, UFC. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, Dana White is a Trump supporter. He actually, he actually was in the RNC to endorse Trump. Do you have a lighter? Uh, yes. Uh, no, I don't. Son of a bitch. Let me get it. <laughs> no, none of us have ladders. Uh, I, 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 I know, I know, I know. Let me get one in the house. No, it works, it works. Works? Yeah, it works. Good. Okay, okay we're good. Yeah, we're good. So, All right, guys. Uh, so, uh, Amazing start of the podcast. Good. Uh, <laughs> Amazing start. We're yeah. just bullshitting, but... We did not plan any of this. Uh, yes. Salud. Right. Salud again. Right. That's how we got. That's how we got. Yeah. Salud, salud. How about, how about uh, we do this? Let's do like a thing where we have to drink to. Like, keep your drinks. Damn, Danny. What? Yeah, I'm already checking it. Or you what? Fucking, he's checking <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, I'm like, ah. oh, dude, he's gonna like drink all of this. He's gonna lose all this ambition. He's gonna tell like five girls in this race for later on. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, man. Yeah, that's good, dude. Sometimes inhibition talking to girls is good. Oh, this inhibition, yeah. yeah, that's what a lot of people drink because actually it, it um it removes the inhibition. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But just a little bit. Don't get it too like. Yeah, you don't get wasted. You're gonna be like that one guy. Your whiskey dick. <laughs> oh man, I've been that guy. <laughs> Don't be that guy that's always like freaking just a pain in the ass to deal with. I mean, I've been I've been in both sides. I've been like the guy who has to take care of the rest, you know. But I've also been like the guy who's super wasted. Like I remember, like I was like super drunk back in downtown. And I was like, I had like I had, like this play T-shirt because I love play. And it was like all open, like a Cuban guy, you know. <laughs> and I was like sipping my beer, you know. Fucking metrosexual over here. Oh man. <laughs> hey man, it's called flamboyant, <laughs> flamboyant <laughs> masculinity. Flamboyant. It's called flamboyant retro. Flamboyant masculinity. That's the shit right bro, there, bro. What does what does cis mean? Like when if you're a cis male. That means traditional. Traditional. Yeah. Cisgender, cis male. That's traditional. Like just a conventional. Like straight, heterosexual, missionary, that's it. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's Evangelical, it. Christian. Yeah. Uh, looking at the woman <laughs> before marriage is considered. Is considered yeah, you're ben Shapiro, you're, boy, you're, ben you're, not, boy. You're, you're not even thinking about having sex with her until like two months after you married her, bro. That's his gender. Nah, <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. That, Fuck. That, nah, 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 that's no other. Because I just thought it was an abbreviation for like. Just uh, For like Costco? A straight man. Nah, just like, just like, <laughs> for a straight man. Heterosexual. I was like, what is it, dude? What does this mean? I, 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 I could give two fucks, but... I, 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 took, I took a class in college called uh, Gender Communication. We went over this. Yeah, it's pretty... Cisgender. There's so many terms, bro, for, for like trans, for like uh, transgender. Like, There's so many terms. It's not even funny. Got to create like a whole other dictionary for them. Okay, so this is actually like an idea that I've been playing with, okay? What if like the natural way for men is to be bisexual? In the same manner that it is natural for women to also be bisexual in experiments. For Sigmund Freud... I know we're already down. We're getting to Freud already. Holy shit! <laughs> Sigmund Freud believes he he was convinced he believed that everyone deep down is bisexual. Now I'm not gonna say I agree with him, but I do say that I believe we have the ability to be bisexual. Like everyone is born with that ability. Not, <laughs> not to say like like everyone is, but like yeah. under the right circumstances or the wrong, depending on your orientation, you know, right wrong environment, you will be bisexual. I think so. I'm convinced. I love how the world is so fixated on sex, man. Dude, everything is fixed. Freud believed everything boiled down to sex. It is, dude. Freud. Economy, war. <laughs> I mean, I'm more of a Jungian guy myself, you know? Like, I agree that. It's like, Jung? Sex... All right, first of all, it's Jung. Jung. Carl Jung. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm being an asshole. <laughs> what <What'd laughs> you say? What'd you say? I'm a grammar nut. <laughs> What'd you say? Jung? Jung. Jung. Oh, 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 okay, oh, oh, that's at your house. Okay, I was like, dude, the cat's going inside your Carlitos house. Carlitos Jung. Jung. Yeah. Jung. I mean, I mean, Lil Jung. Okay. Our, our boy, our boy, Carl Jung. Dude, I love Jung. I'm 
because okay, Freud was like saying that like the subconscious everything was bad in the subconscious. Try it. You know? Oh yeah. Try it. Nah, bro. I'm but June actually Try. like I feel, yeah, I, did, I feel this already. I feel good actually. Yeah. Yeah, dude, go away quick, man. <laughs> that was like chugging that, bro. Did you finish that down, no, bro? It's a half, it's a half. Shit. That's what we can show that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Me and him are going to split that one. Latin right? American girl. Uh, Me and okay. him are going to split that Latin one. Latin Americans don't mess around. Nah. Have you heard of what they call um, beer in uh, Spain? Cholo. <laughs> what do they call it? Cañas. Cañas? You say, dame una caña, and they just give you a small glass uh. of like a pilsner, like a really light beer, like lighter than that. <laughs> Poder, dame una caña, tío. Yeah, dude, it's fucking cute, man. They're like, all right, just give you a little bit. Right. Just chill for an hour. Castellano. Oh, shit. All right, cool. So, can I call you? What were you saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Freud said conscious, yeah. Freud said uh, the subconscious was like the place where everything that was negative and like the shadow resided. But Jung said that, well, yes, but there's also like a lot of positivity yeah. and beautiful things in the subconscious. The archetypes. Yeah. The archetype, mm-hmm. you know, the archetype of the warrior, the lover, the king. You the know? anima, animus, yeah. Yes, yes. The sixzy. Yeah, all that good stuff. You know, and I think that, for example, when you do, for example, DMT, mm-hmm. you know, and I know that now I like ripping off Joe Rogan now. Hey, bro, have you ever done DMT? <laughs> <laughs> but like, <laughs> I think there are two possible explanations for a DMT trip. One is multidimensional stuff, and two is like an access to our collective, collective unconscious. Sub- unconscious. In this crazy. Every day we go on mini DMT trip. Most people don't realize this, but when you're um, in your REM state, rapid mm-hmm. eye movement, dreaming state of sleep, mm-hmm. your body releases small amounts of dimethyltryptamine. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, melatonin, the common uh, over-the-counter supplement melatonin, uh, your body converts melatonin into DMT by the way it breathes. Because when you're breathing, you're naturally hypoventilating. Hypo is under, so you're, you're under breathing. And as a result, it alters the ratio of a carbon monoxide and all that shit in your system and what it does is that it just it, it, it messes with the, the melatonin chemical and converts it into dmt dimethyltryptamine interesting. so interesting. and i've noticed too once i have a, i excite every night i'm in the anti-aging stuff i take a lot of uh, melatonin and i notice when i take melatonin in large amounts i get crazy ass dreams like, of course yeah, yeah. like wicked like dreams where yeah. like, you wake up you're borderline traumatized you need to call like a fucking dude dream. i agree man. <laughs> my sister took melatonin and she had to stop taking it because of her dreams really and she has like um i think i told you this but she schizophrenia, had, right? Yeah, schizophrenia. Yeah, especially with them, because I know with uh, schizophrenia, yeah. like with them especially, like they're. She said she had like an underlying nightmarish quest with a lot of meaning behind it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> she so, was like, I went to hell and like went through a lot of obstacles <laughs> and like in a dream, and I was like, yeah. and you get vivid dreams too. Like I remember one time I was in a, I was in a dream, and then it was a nightmare. You just had that like the body just I just felt like I was in a nightmare. And this some Asian guy, he's all sinister. And, He's gonna kill me like with like like a bunch of steel blades and shit. Like I don't know, I was just I woke up shitting bricks, dude. Like, like for real, like no tons of trip. But it's good though, you know. I, I it's there, it has anti aging benefits because it's, it's the body's um it's has huge rejuvenative properties, so it's good like to maintain your health and youth and all that. So I definitely recommend it. Um, yeah. Melatonin, melatonin for sure. I take it every night along yeah. with a bunch of other shit. <laughs> I take, Actually, I take melatonin. Like going to the topic of like schizophrenia, you know, yeah. that's like like a Western like a Western medicinal psychology approach to. Yeah to you know schizophrenia and we tend to associate schizophrenia with you know being crazy having hallucinations seeing things that are not there that is true um, but a lot of people think a lot of people associate schizophrenia with like schizoid personality disorder like multiple personality disorders when people have like multiple personalities well yeah. people have multiple personalities and that, that is true we are very um we are very adaptive to our environment polyphacetic but like what 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 they i guess what more people think we think of the extreme called dissociate did dissociative identity disorder where people like actually like they have different identities, like they have different voices in their head. Like, and I've, mm-hmm. I've read stories of people who have it, and it's insane. Like, they'll be like, they just can't, they don't have a coherent, you know, consistent um, consciousness. Like, they'll say, like, they'll go black one second, and then the other character comes out. And yeah. it's, like, it's just like a bunch of freaking, it's just a clusterfuck. That's interesting. I gave a uh, Salvia Devonorum to a friend that has schizophrenia. Oh, shit. And she tripped hard, bro. Dude, I, I don't think I'm safe, bro. The, I thought I was going to have to call a lawyer, man. <laughs> because she's tripping in my house. Oh yeah. And she tripped for like four hours, three hours, and it's supposed to only take thirty minutes. Holy shit. Yeah, and um, so oh, I was mine, like, yeah, mine was super quick. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like, I was just waiting for her to come down, and was already, I was already planning to, to you're, your you're, home. You get your plan A, B, C, D, E. For us, dude, I was like, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I'm gonna take her home. I'm gonna explain to her parents. I'm a I'm gonna call a lawyer because she had a, I'm she fucked. Had, she, she, she had a she had a bad uh, yeah. She she had a bad sandwich. And dude, <laughs> she came back finally, right? She came back. Mm-hmm. She recollected again dude and she was just like that was awesome 
Shoot, but she was just like that was terrifying, nightmarish. But that changed my life. I feel like that's and like, she has schizophrenia, oh, and like, and her brother does as well. And oh, uh, yeah, it's very common. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that's like the difference between like DMT and salvia because when it's DMT, at least the experience that I had with DMT was beautiful. You know, mm-hmm. like at some point I felt like a maternal goddess that was like taking care of me like a mother. You know, of course. Wow. Yeah. But now salvia, Ayahuasca. salvia is a bitch. Salvia's Salvia is gonna kick your ass. Salvia, you know what Maria Sabina said about Salvia? Who's Maria Sabina? Maria Sabina, bro, you gotta know Maria Sabina. I don't know. <laughs> she's um <clears throat> the curandera from Chiapas and uh, Oaxaca. Okay, she's, she's like the a... one that like introduced psilocybin mushrooms to the Western world. Oh right? wow, yeah, she's a big okay. Yeah, yeah, to the Western world, man. Yeah, to the yeah. Does she does she like does she get associated with Timothy Leary? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. Terrence McKenna, Timothy Leary. Uh, All right. Uh, um, Timothy Leary was a badass. Dude, yeah. Timothy Leary, like, I always end up going back to his uh, his dogma, his eschatology. Always, I think it, he got it right personally. But that's another. Yeah. Thing. yeah. Oh, so, anyway, so Sabina, what about it? Oh yeah, she's just like, she just like would give Savi Devon Norman the sense of tea, because if you smoke it, she doesn't like that, right? She, oh okay. She doesn't like to be burnt and smoked. She has like that's okay. why she attacks you, but if you do it in the tea, it becomes more. Oh, okay. So you, you know ta- so you attack the salve with the fire, she's gonna attack you back. Yeah. That's crazy. I, I don't if know you I, do it with water. If if you if you like make peace with her, she'll make peace with you. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. And so like but it's hard with um tea because you have to get a lot of extract. You know what I'm saying? Oh I need more. That's yeah. why me and you, whenever we did it together, me, him and another homie, mm. uh we did the extract. Oh you guys smoked it. I have actually salvia in my backpack. <laughs> I, I have salvia times 10 in my backpack. You have times 10 in your backpack? Yes. That is perfect, dude. Not do right it. now, not right dude, now. Dude, I'm not going to do, do that shit right now. <laughs> no, no. Dude, I'm not going to do I'm, I'm, like, I, I was so down to do it, but like, like I see the first time guess, I... Guess, guess what we gave him. What? The extract. The times. It was, it was high though, wasn't it? Times 40. Higher. Times 30. It was fucking 100, dude. What the? Yeah, dude. Daniel, and I, and I, I, I took a big ass hit too, bro. Bro. Like, I remember, I remember it was, it was so insane. Like, because I, like, at first I took a hit, I was good. Took another hit, and then, like, slowly but surely, like, reality just left, dude. Like, I, I, remember I, I was like this, I was waving my hand, and it, it looked kind of like a movie where, like, everyone starts warping together. And I remember, like, it was crazy, bro. The, the existential despair was insane because I thought I, I remember I felt like as if I was like my exi- my entire existence up until that point was nothing more than some fucking sitcom for this family that was watching me. <laughs> so like I was literally shitting bricks. Like I was like my life's coming to an end. My life's coming to an end. And then I never like I never seen that. And then all of a sudden Orlando, uh, yeah, this guy and and um and, his, and the other guy, homeboy, or uh, Eric, he just like. He's like, they just started, or no, this guy was like, he's sad, dude. Like, he, he, I can tell this guy's word. He's like, he's like, Daniel, Daniel. He's all, he's all like shaking me. Cause I, cause I, cause he told me I moved up, huh? I stood up and I started yeah, walking yeah. around. I don't even remember that. But dude. it's normal. Like, you see, he has times 10. Uh-huh. That's good. To me, 30 is good. To, cause uh, when I lived in Roswell, mm-hmm. I would get 30 and 20s and like 25s uh-huh. to, um, to trip by myself because I could handle it. Uh-huh. Once you get past 40, 60, you can't. You know, you yeah. should get with someone. But um, time ten is perfect, bro. We should do it I'll sometime. Do it. Yeah. I mean, I have my pipe right now, so <laughs> no, 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 not right now, dude. Yeah. Dude, if anyone was yes, I remember I saw that, and then like, and then I remember this guy's like Daniel, 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 and like I just came back, and like I knew this crazy. I was like in this twilight zone of, of consciousness and like delusion. It's like I was like trying to fight, you know, and get back to to the reality, and I finally did it. And then I remember I came back, but like I, I just felt like I just felt like I knew everything. Like I just had that. Like, I was, like, the one, the chosen one. It was, like, the, it was a surreal feeling. How do you feel whenever you... Like, the end of psychedelics, what do you feel? It depends which one. Uh, <sighs> you know, place. Yeah. What do you feel? I mean, it depends with the drug. For example, with DMT. DMT is, like, kind of also, like, the business trip because it's super short. Oh, yeah, it's, it's quick. Super quick. And I feel pretty quick. A lot of clarity, you know? A lot of clarity that I can see things for what they were. Mm-hmm. Like, total sand afterwards. Yeah. Uh, with mushrooms... It depends because I've had experiences which afterwards I feel like carjack is very This is fucking relaxed. good. It's good. Oh my god. Yes. What's it called? No wonder it was expensive, dirty, bro. Is it, what is it? <laughs> dirty what? At uh, Founders Dirty. Dirty Bird. Dirty Bastard. Dirty Bastard. Yeah, Dirty Bastard. Founders Dirty Bastard. Let me see. Let me see. 
Scottish. So good, it's almost wrong. Dark ruby in color and brewed with seven varieties of imported malts. Com complex in finish with hints of smoke and peat. Paired with a malty richness and a right hook of hot power to give the bad attitude that a no. beer named Dirty Badger has to Shout out to Scotland. Scotland. Shout out to Scotland, bro. Shout out to Scotland. Scottish flag. Scotland should definitely get this independence, man. They, yeah. they need to get it. <laughs> just for this. Just for this. Nah, just kidding. Just, no. just so founders <laughs> can distribute beer to the European <laughs> Union. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now... I remember I did first time to Marshall. That was actually like my last big trip. Actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was after I did DMT. Uh -huh. And the thing about when you do DMT, the mushrooms feels like a DMT trip. Sorry, man. I'm gonna do something unholy right here. What are you gonna do? Con just continue. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Continue. He's spreading the coronavirus right now <laughs> using my pipe. <laughs> Damn, bro. Right. Nah. I'm joking. But here's the thing. After I did like those four grams of mushrooms, because I felt like two very powerful feminine and masculine energies which are the energies that actually compose like this universe that we live in you know it's crazy yeah i, I get and what you're saying uh -huh. after i actually did like four grams of mushrooms the first thing that actually came to my mind was i need to clean up my room i went full on jordan peterson man clean up my room bring order to my fucking life you could have i mean you could have evoked jordan peterson but like even then that's that's pretty archaic man clean up your room you know because <laughs> how so the most it's just it's just obvious right like everyone has said it since the beginning of yes, time right that's like the most basic masculine value the, the primal order. most important masculine value is organization yeah. yeah it's a yes it's yeah. like the it's also um peace how do you maintain peace order order peace. organization yes well the feminine is care Order and care, I like thought, a garden. I, 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 I thought you were going to say chaos. Wouldn't it be chaos for feminine? I thought it was chaos. But chaos, <laughs> but chaos, but chaos doesn't have to be negative, though. It doesn't have to be negative. No, chaos no, is doesn't. necessary for order. They're, they, they're, they're, they're the necessary yeah. opposite. Because yeah. Russia is feminine. And they're fucking chaotic as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, uh, What's his name? Uh, Nietzsche. He, he like saw things in that lens, too. You know, the Nietzsche. Guy. Nietzsche, Nietzsche, sorry. Oh, Nietzsche? Ah, Nietzsche? Frederick Nietzsche. Bro, we're just... Friedrich a, Nietzsche. The three of us are like broken philosophers, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, wait, wait, so yeah, Nietzsche saw everything like in terms of like Din Dionysian and Apollonian. You know, Apollonian's order, yeah. masculine, yeah. Dionysian's chaotic, feminine. Yeah. So, and it's crazy, like the Greeks they actually considered a... They, 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 they would call women disfigured men, like chaotic, I guess, men, because their body, you know, their, their giant body fat distribution, the way they're like structured mm -hmm. physically. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy how like, you see like the... the I guess like the cosmic um, divide, you know, in, in the biological sex is men, you know, male, female, you know, yeah. you gotta, you gotta compromise, you know, unite, tango. It's yeah. very that's, what, that's what like, it's hard to like debate such things where like, where we try to get like the sexes on top of each other. We need like a woman here right now. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, but like, this is a it's like, we need, we need three though, we need three, you gotta balance it out. You can't just have one, that'd be too weird. I'm just saying like, I don't see like the masculine against the feminine. Or the mas or the feminine against the masculine, and that's kind of a common stigma around. It feels right like now. that, right? It, it feels, feels like that. It feels like it feels like it's a battle of the sexes. Yeah. It should be like a, a job between them. You know. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like a dance. We're getting we're yeah. getting through this together. Yeah, yeah. You should yeah. see like a dance. Yeah, this because, is hard, dude. Yeah. Life is hard. <laughs> it's kind of like Alan Watt said. You know, we tend to see, like the Western man usually sees like sees it like a battle. You uh -huh. know, like a construction which you need to bring your will and your power. Like I, I think a good example of that's manifest destiny. Mm -hmm. When like the settlers were like colonizing and expanding throughout the West. Yeah. I like what Alan Watts said that instead of looking at the, looking at it that way, when you see it more like a dance, you know, in which both of them can be in harmony. Yeah. 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 Not a battle, just a, a mission. Yeah. yeah. But then again, I, I remember this quote that maybe like war and fighting is like the ultimate expression of existence. That's like the ultimate expression of all existence. I'll say it depends on your perspective. I mean, I think it's one facet of it. Like Maybe if you're facet. Chechen. <laughs> Maybe if you're Chechen and that's all you see is war. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's extreme, you know, like war battles, extreme emotion, you know, that's, I, I can totally get it. But I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's the only one, but it's one of many, you know, but it's definitely, yeah, there. It, this is going to sound like super like ugly, you know, but, I feel like one of the reasons why humanity has so many conflicts, even though we have we live right now in the most peaceful era of all time, uh -huh. we kind of do enjoy war. We enjoy it. We enjoy like the whole, like the whole thing of the battlefield, the general. Really? Like, the you think so? I feel like there's something deep down in us that is really into that, that is very primal, but it has slowly matured into 
more of a peaceful way. You know, that's one way. No, I think I think yeah, you're on the money, but I think that has more to do with the neuro like endocrine stuff, like um like testosterone. Because if you notice, we're uh, men are starting to become more and more, and men and women is also we're starting to become more and more less uh, differentiated. You know, men are I guess are starting to become less macho. Yeah. Because of the multiple reasons, I, I could argue it's just evolution. I yeah. could argue it's just environmental with like endocrine disruptors, what have you. Well, just here, right? Because uh, you go to Senegal and that's not true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but if you look at it, in developed countries, they they, uh-huh. they they tend to become less and less. I yeah. guess uh, you know you know what I mean. Developed countries. Yeah, I think I think it's just it's just it's just happening. You know, it's yeah. just a it's just a natural step in evolution. Um, and there's just trade offs. I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna say you know war and all that shit. It's, it's the best. I mean, I'm not. But I'm not gonna say it's the worst either. You know, I think it's just that there's trade offs to everything. That's one thing. Everything. Well, there's trade offs. Everything is a trade off. But okay, so like some people like say that w- one of the good things about war and look, I'm I'm super pacifist. I'm like the pacifist guy. You know? Yeah, I'm a man of peace. But one thing <laughs> about war is that it gives meaning to your life. You oh know? yeah, absolutely. When you're a warrior, when you're a soldier, like serving Fuck. your clan, serving your That's country. That's shallow as shit, dude. You you have meaning. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it, no, no, it is it is shallow, but I mean it's just one of the trade offs. You know, it's shallow, but overall it's extreme. You know. Yeah. Like for example, nowadays modern. Uh, Gladiators back in the Roman Empire days and all that shit. Slaves. Like they're slaves, but they had fame. Like they 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 were fucking. <laughs> like they had the fame, bro. Like they had the status. They're yeah, like they're the warriors. Like that's all the existence was, just to yeah. fight and win. But just as famous is today, it's not as we. It's not what it's cracked up to be. Yeah, it's what it's cracked up to be. Yeah. And so it's a I'm bunch. Like, of, it's just a bunch of smoke and mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Um, like uh, they said, you know, it's like they say, don't meet your heroes in person. Like, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure if you know, if we got to know these celebrities, like, just like these philosophers. Yeah, or yeah, if we, if we if we got to know them, just like just like you know, typical average Joes and James, yeah. we would, they would lose their that their magic. You know? <laughs> Listen, except I, except Hemingway, man. I always say Nietzsche. <laughs> the greats will always keep their <laughs> their I, fucking I, I, uniqueness. I would, to, I, would, I would love to be Nietzsche, just to, just to kind of like whatever, just to like I think he'd be an eccentric ass. I just he'd just be like, let's go to whorehouse. <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> He's like, come on, Daniel. Let's go, dude. He's all, He's all, let's go, Daniel. Legalized fucking prostitution. <laughs> He's all, dude. First time. First time. Yeah. No, so, 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 wait. All right. Um, what's, what's his opinion on that? On prostitution? Do you think it should be legal or not? It should be legal, but super regulated. Exactly. It needs to be regulated. Yes, because we need to like make sure that okay, the girls are doing it clean. They're clean, but also that they're free, that there's no pimping. There's no around. trafficking, there's no, no, there's trafficking, no corruption. Yeah. You know? And I think that what they did in the Netherlands was the correct thing. Because in what they did in Germany is that they decriminalized, but actually facilitated human trafficking. Ooh. Oh. Instead, when you legalize it and regulate it properly, that's it's much better. That's the way to yeah. go, yeah. Yes. Germany is dark, bro. Germany Germany has a very dark sex culture, man. <laughs> they're, they're just dark, bro. Look at their, we just, like, dude. World fuck China, bro. We gotta keep our eyes on Germany and China. <laughs> like, like German porn videos are the weirdest. They're weirder than the Japanese. Really, yeah. I've never seen them. What is it like? There's like video some shit, man. It's like what? It's BDSM. a lot of bondage. Yeah, it's oh. a lot of bondage. but you can see that in Germany. You can see like posters and like shit like that. You know, yeah. you can just tell. They're just cold, bro. Like the soccer team. They're cold, man. Yeah. Like the German soccer team, bro. Yeah. It'll be, they just it'll, score. It'll be, score. It'll, be, it'll be minute 93. They'll be down 3-0, and somehow they'll pull something out of their ass to win <laughs> in penalties or something. It's or, insane. Or they'll fucking score three, keep scoring three, and keep scoring again. Another yeah. three. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> West Germany, man. West Germany. West Germany do represent. West Germany. That's how Zyke. That's how Zyke. I mean, that's what happens when you went through a lot of time repressing sexuality. Mm-hmm. Like, you see that also in Japan, you know? Japan, like, yeah. And China, because there's a lot of, like, repression mm-hmm. of sexual expression. Not in China, they're still pretty... Are they? Yeah. I'm not sure about China. Yeah, China is still very... Definitely Japan. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Oh, really? Japan. Really? Yes. Japan is very so sexually just, expressive. So, oh, I thought you said repressed. Yeah. Because... Who represses China. When, okay, when you sexually repress anything, it's, 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 gonna, it's gonna come back, and it's gonna come back in the form of something that is not healthy. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. it's just a, it's just like an eruption. <clears throat> yeah. When you erupt, yeah. yeah, 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 that's kind of like the Grande Stape in Spain, you know, because they, they have like the whole Franco regime, mm-hmm. the whole Catholic, you know, Catholic influence of the regime. Franco's gone. God damn, everybody was fucking contraceptives for everybody, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, I can honestly do without contraceptives. Huh? To be honest, <laughs> I can do without Plan B. Condoms, <laughs> I can, dude. You to must, be honest, you must really have a lot of trust in your pull, okay? <laughs> that's good, not bro. not not that it's just like well here's the thing like humanity, it's just obvious what's gonna happen 
That's it. It's just so obvious that you're just gonna. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. You're just inside. You're gonna have a kid. <laughs> Humanity has always looked for ways to control their population through contraceptives. The Egyptians, for example, you know, one of their methods of contraception, it was to grab uh, the feces of crocodiles <laughs> and put it in like the, you know, like in, the, in, the in, genitalia of the woman yeah. after intercourse, because that way they could avoid getting pregnant. Did it actually work? It worked, yeah. Oh, well, there's no expert. <laughs> I was like, how do you, oh, you, wait, how wait, how wait. you determine that? <laughs> wait, wait. Fact check. Fact check. <laughs> oh my God, that's insane, bro. Yes, and there were also like flowers and other plant medicines that would help on that, you know? It's amazing, but, but the humans humans are genius. But what makes someone, what, what, I mean, what, what Egyptian man was like, something like, you know what? If I bang her and I put crocodile shit in there, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> like, how did you come to that it's conclusion? The mouth, bro, spirit of the mouth. I think, I think, <laughs> I, I, right? If it, I think it just goes to show like that, that it's that sometimes that human intuition, that 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 um that access to the to the collective unconscious of knowledge, cosmic knowledge. It's also the using the resources that's supposed to them. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Just like the the Kashik records, you know, like. Cause I, I imagine it worked. Can I like, can like how people how how was ayahuasca created? It was like the tree bark the the tree bark of something plus the vine of something else or some shit like that. Like yeah, how did people? As fuck. Yeah, that like, that's insane, man. Yeah, I mean, of... now that you mentioned like a cash kick record, like you know Nikola Tesla, right? Yeah. Okay, that probably will have to be like a big fat check. It's probably like probably like the new age, you know, movement. But there is like the possibility that Tesla had knowledge of something that it was outside of this world. Like the idea of like electricity, wireless yeah, electricity. Know, sorry. It, it's in there. It's in Tesla. There. Yeah. yeah, and it's possible that he probably had like access to some sort of information, some higher source. Kind of yeah. like you, will, you will call it like the Akashic records, yeah. you know? Yeah. Kind of like a collective knowledge, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. That led him to have such discoveries like wireless electricity, which was destroyed by companies, American companies, because it was not profitable. You know? Yeah, it's just it's too utopian. It's not gonna. We're too, we're, too, we're too dumb for that shit. <laughs> the the Poor. pyramids, the pyramids were electricity generators. You know, I like how <laughs> that, that's crazy. On that topic, yeah. have you guys ever wondered why they still haven't put the apex on those pyramids on the pyramid of Giza? What the apex? The apex, yeah. Uh, what is the apex? That's the tip. That's what makes it yeah. a final the point. Because mm. if you notice, the pyramid of Giza is flat on top, mm. and uh, there's some rumors or some stories. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, but I believe so. Anyway, so yeah, there's like stories of people going up to the top, and what they do is like. I guess they're just constructed in such a way, that like at like a certain height or whatever, that people would. Uh, there are stories of people who'd go up there on the stand on the top and then lift the light, lift the newspaper, and the newspaper would catch on fire like that and just incinerate like that. And then people were, uh, and I, I think there was actually a plan, a plan to put a gold, a gold apex on the pyramid of Giza, but for some reason or another, it just got canceled last minute. I think it was towards the late nineties, yeah. So, hmm. I mean, I, I mean. And I've looked in. I've seen some documentaries on the on the pyramids and like the way they're located. It, it's very fascinating to see like the, the the you know the history behind it. Um, also, how they align with the pyramids on this side of the continent. Yeah, yeah, and also, but I'm convinced. I'm convinced that, and this is gonna sound like tinfoil hatish or whatever, what have you. But I'm convinced that like those pyramids, like the, the apexes or the apex, the golden apex, would trigger something massive, like yeah. before and after in human history. But oh well, we'll see. Ultimately, we don't know why the pyramids were built. The status quo of Egyptology says that it was constructed to be like tombs for the pharaohs, mm -hmm. but we never one. There's the reason why that's actually very unlikely is because usually tombs, Egyptian tombs, they have like uh, paints and relics inside. Yeah, there's nothing inside the pyramids. Oh, really? There's nothing inside of any. And not only that, but if you see like how how like the how how they're constructed, like the precision, you know. Just what it, the technology you look at it right now. I mean, even to this day, I mean, the, I think the, I know they, they tried to recreate a pyramid like about a small ass, like bitch ass scale, of, like one to a hundred or some shit like that, and they just couldn't do it. Like we just couldn't do it with our technology. We just could not recreate a mini version of the pyramid of Giza. And if you wonder how the hell did those people back in those days, without any technology, do what they did? And that's and that's when that's when the first thing that comes to mind is uh, it's fucking extraterrestrials. And I don't know about you guys, but I believe in extraterrestrials. I I think that aliens are real. I just don't think that they live in the same dimension as us. I think that the aliens like exist like in the in a different dimension. Like, they oh, could yeah. actually be walking among us right now. And personally, personally, this is why I, I believe aliens are us. Aliens are us from the future. Mm. I think I think aliens, aliens. If you look, at, if if you put aliens and chimps or gorillas on a, on like a, like as polar opposites, mm -hmm. and you put humans in the middle, like it just looks like the perfect timeline. <laughs> like the, the 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 apes modernized and slowly become evolved into humans, and the humans, you know, we 
evolve and modernize into aliens. I think that they're us in the future, personally. Because if you look at aliens, they're real neotenous. Or our depictions of aliens are real neotenous. And what does that mean? Neoteny is associated like with babies, youth, all that. If you look, if you look at aliens, they're real, they have real big heads relative to their bodies. That's how babies are. Um, they have real big eyes as well. That's how babies mm -hmm. are too. They're hairless. They have like no muscle tone. But they have like increased them, fucking um, intelligence, myelination, all that shit. And the reason they have no muscle tones is because they're in gravity all the time. So there's no need for the muscles. I mean, when you're in zero gravity, I mean, you, you read stories of astronauts. They'll, they'll tell you like their, their muscles atrophy and shit while they're up in space because it's like yeah. gravity, it's it really, it's what, you know, yeah. it really creates your muscles and all that. And also, um, humans as well. If you notice, humans are starting to become more neonist too. Like, you just, if you look at like the up and coming generations of kids, they look more neonist. They have like smaller, um, smaller bone structures, mm -hmm. more hairless. Um, more like um, undifferentiated in terms of gender. So mm -hmm. personally, I'm I'm pretty convinced that aliens are us from the future, and that's why they don't they don't really mess with us. I mean, I'm sure they might abduct us to study us, but the same the same way we uh, you know study apes, you know yeah. how we observe apes like anthropologists yeah. and shit. Yeah. We observe them. We don't really we don't really dick around with them. Which like we don't we don't cause harm because like I mean, they're apes. What the fuck are they gonna do to us? So I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. But that's what aliens think of us. Like ah fucking humans. They're too busy. <laughs> they're, too, they're too they're too they're too busy trying to get laid. Why are we gonna mess with them? <laughs> they're on yeah. their fucking Netflix and shit. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're like too, what the fuck do they do? They're, man? Too, they're too busy watching Netflix and, and the Super Bowl okay. and all that. Yeah. So. Okay, so that implies something very important for me. You know that we have HIV, and uh -huh. HIV came from somebody fucking an ape, right? Zero transmitted, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe the aliens, maybe the aliens have like an STD after like they actually fuck us. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it's it, fatal as well. It, yes, it could be fatal. <laughs> they have an STD. I hope. <laughs> and they must be like, okay, who's the fucking alien who fucked the human? Seriously, guys. I know, right? They're all pissed. They probably, they probably don't have any emotions. They, Dude. Just, like, they just like tell, they just telepathize it. Like you idiot. <laughs> it's a basic claim. He's a word. He's a word. He's a word. He's a. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a fuck the human. <laughs> Dude, that's how we got coronavirus. Somebody fuck a fucking bat. <laughs> a bit, I don't know, just some, a just, bat? Just, just some, That's some obscure ass animal, like a bat. I don't know, a fucking an iguana. It could be anything. An iguana, so a, a, a reptile. Uh, I don't know. Something. For Komodo dragon. <laughs> so, 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 so. Okay, okay. <laughs> a Komodo dragon. Oh if my you, god. If you fuck a Komodo dragon. Yeah. I'm kudos, not, I'm, kudos, <laughs> kudos. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the computer dragon is just like, what the fuck's going on? You probably have to do it like missionary because of, the, <laughs> cause of the, no, because of the tail, you know? It's so long, they'll probably get in the way if you try to do it doggy style. Oh my gosh, bro. Let's change the subject, guys. This is like, You're going to get caught. Fuck <laughs> it out your back. <laughs> Guys, right. we, okay, we went from Freud to fucking come out the track. <laughs> that escalated. That went, that went south real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, Orlando was like, he's like deconstructing it. I know, right? It's too, it's too dynastic. Nah, it's good, though. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> All right. Um, Bro, you look like Che, man. Che? Who's Che? Oh, Che Guevara? Yeah, Pedro does. Oh, yeah, right. For real. It yeah. could be easily Che, dude, if you wanted to. I don't know, man. I don't want to kill anyone. You're, you're, you're going to go to Spain and they're going to treat you like a god, dude. Nah, I'm just kidding. They're going to put you on t-shirts. And... Nah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's like there's like 20 guys, like a million guys like me in Spain, you know? Oh, yeah. Maybe oh, that's yeah. the maybe I'll fit in, or maybe not. I don't bro, know. you will, bro. Just take a Barcelona jersey, you'll fit in. Or a Real Madrid jersey. <sighs> yes, I'm going to have like a Real Madrid t-shirt and a Barcelona t-shirt. Sevilla and I'm go Yes, and I'm going to wear it depending on the city I am. Dude, take all the t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> take all of them, bro. No, 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 you just got to get Barca, Real Madrid, and uh, get Sevilla. Hmm. Sevilla, and no, yeah, those are the three big, three big ones, yeah. But even if you go to like Betis... No, nah, but no. Nah, if you're going to bet, if you're going to that, if you're going to Seville or Sevilla, you gotta take Sevilla's jersey. They're the better one. They're better than Betis. Sevilla's Sevilla is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sevilla is like the capital in Spain of like flamenco, dude. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Barcelona, Madrid, and Sevilla—they're like the best cities. Are they the big three? Yeah, they're the big three. Okay. Yeah. I was Sevilla's cute, man. To me, Malaga is cute as fuck. I, I, to I, me, Malaga is like the best of Spain. Really? In terms of like settling. <clears throat> oh, okay, just like just settling down. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Okay, yeah. Malaga. You know that, like, okay, so Spain is Spain is so weird culturally because it's, it's like so diverse. A, it's very diverse because people think of Spain like homogeneous because of their culture, but not at all. But they have like Arab, they have Celtic influence, French influence, Basque, you know, Basque, Basque, French, influence. Catalan. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. The, the, the each region is like its own little autonomous region. Like there's a uh, there's Madrid, there's mm -hmm. uh, Catalonia, yeah, there's Andalusia. Yeah. 
a bunch of other ones. Yeah, like, the I, French ones. Yeah, the the, the, the dialect. I like the dialect. They have a bunch of different dialects. Like, I know, like from uh, the Andalus, like they 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 replace the L's the R. Like que pasa mi arma. Like I I just find that so so like yeah romantic. It's beautiful. Yeah. Like beautiful. Yeah. 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 Que pasa mi arma. But chances are that okay. So we have like this romantic idea of Europe. You know. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that they're just like us, you know. At the oh, end. yeah. Yeah. Well, you get used to it. I'm pretty sure, like... Dude, if you go to Europe, dude, it's kind of... Whatever. <laughs> For those, dude. If you go to Europe, it's just like... I guess it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's cool. <laughs> what's, what's so great about the Eiffel Tower? It's just a stupid tower. Dude, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool, dude. The Eiffel Tower is pretty cool. The it's what? a it's beautiful tower. I've been twice. Uh, where? It's pretty cool. Eiffel Tower. Oh, yeah? yeah. Have you been to the top? No. Oh, no. No, you gotta have plata, bro. <laughs> you gotta have plata. You gotta have man. that money. Yeah. They have a restaurant on top. Or, or you really? Know, yeah, on the tip top. Or you know, uh, you could do like a blitzkrieg. You know, what I'm joking. A blitzkrieg. Like a, dude, have you seen uh, Hitler's picture with the Eiffel Tower in the back? Uh-huh. It's whenever he, uh, his army conquered oh, France. Oh, dude, just think of it. He took a picture. He took of, a sicko selfie, just like, what's up, bitch? For real, dude. Oh, you know, like the a big fuck you the France did is that they actually sabotaged the elevator. So that, okay, you guys, you Nazis want to go to the top of the Eiffel Tower? Take the fucking stairs, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what's bigger, fuck you? What? Hitler, whenever France capitulated, he said, okay, let's go sign the papers where we capitulated in World War One." That is a fucking dirty trick, bro. That is dirty, man. Damn. So whenever dirty. Germany signed the papers in yeah. France of mm-hmm. capitulation in World War One, Hitler was like, let's sign your capitulation in the same place. Oof. That's pretty dope, bro. Damn. That's, that's savage. You're savage. That's yeah. dope. Turn yes. down. Turn down for what? Oh! And oh, this wait. is the part of the podcast that gets removed from YouTube. <laughs> oh, why? Because of my inappropriate yeah. um, um, feedback. Oh, Towards yeah. the Wehrmacht or something. Oh, I, I'm an ally, boys. I'm liberal, I swear. Uh, I swear. 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 My name is not Adolf Hitler. I'm Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Adolf. Adolf. I'm just a painter in Argentina. <laughs> Argentina, baby. All right, guys. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll make this real shallow as fuck, but I was like, nah, maybe that. I think Argentines, half of Argentines are the most beautiful people on the planet, my humble opinion. Hmm. They're, the, they're the most as well, so, you know, you got it. <laughs> it, it, it is what it is, but. They got the tango. Who do you know? think? Uh, Like the most beautiful people. people. race, what happened? Beautiful and like snooty. Like. <laughs> Like pump is like bitch. I'm I'm beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse you. Nah. I was say, that's hard, man. Cause like, I think Argentines are ugly as fuck too. <laughs> They're ugly as fuck too, dude. <laughs> you know? I think everybody is beautiful in their own way. It's oh, it's a very subjective term. Nah, <laughs> but <laughs> either fail or feita. Feita is chula. Okay, just to, <laughs> just to make the terms clear, <laughs> right? I, I've been with like black ladies, you know, mm-hmm. and they're so beautiful. I'm telling you, you know, so <laughs> ebony. Yeah. Yes. And Asian woman. I don't know. I, 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 guess think, I think Asians are the cute. Asians. Actually, no. It's actually, I think they actually did a poll and Asians overall voted the, the most prettiest. You know? yeah. uh, Americans have an Asian fetish. That is for sure. They have an Asian fetish. <laughs> what makes you say that? Dude, like all they the do. Asian Vi- massage parlors. It all started in Vietnam, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, guys, Vietnam's a shit. <laughs> $20 an hour. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Here's, here's the thing. All right, guys. So when you see those massage parlors that all they say is big red letters, massage. Like, do you think they actually they give guys their hand jobs there? Yes, of course. Dude. Really? Yeah. Try it. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. I'm not, actually, I'm gonna go there. There's one down where the laundromat. So I'm just gonna go there while my laundry is doing and see, you know, see if I can, you know, get some get a bonus yeah. or something. I, don't I, know. I remember, like, okay, so yeah, dude, for dude. example, back when I did like Japanese jiu jitsu, uh-huh. martial arts, and uh, I remember like one of my masters back then is like he said that um, his wife knew like a professor whose marriage was terrible, uh-huh. like horrible. But then he said that he started going to like this anything that said like Asian massage parlor, and he's like the happiest dude ever. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's what kept his marriage in place. Yeah, that's sad, bro. That's sad, yes. bro. That dude, sad. that that is sad. Like, that does not give me hope at all. Being on a marriage <laughs> just because of kids, that's bullshit. Bro. What is it? Being on a marriage. Oh, just wedlock because... out of wedlock. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it's better to have you know to raise a kid in two happy homes than in one miserable one. But yeah, that's a different story. That's, yeah. I mean, Do you know what I think is funny? Is those pictures where like, it's like, mm-hmm. we don't let differences get in the way of each other. And it's like a stepmom with the stepdaddy. Uh-huh. And then like the stepmom and the real mom with the, 
know what I'm saying? It's a it's, it's a mix. A, it's, a it's a mix. fucking mix. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I would never put myself in that situation. That is ridiculous. But see, sometimes that, that's just the best alternative. That's just yeah, that's the best. Yeah. It was crazy. A lot of people um they have divorces right after the kids graduate high school. Mm. It, just, it just shows you that you know. Yeah. The ultimate just all it's for. I mean, I could put the I could talk about evolutionary biology or sociobiology, what have you. But I mean. It just it is what it is. Okay. You're, you're super interested like in anthropology and all that stuff. I, I'm I'm very I'm very <laughs> scientific biology. I think it all boils down to that. Evolutionary biology, so actually sociobiology. Sociobiology trumps evolutionary biology, and evolutionary biology trumps everything. Or evolutionary psychology trumps everything. I'm but, not sure about that. Man. I don't know. And because, ultimately, it just depends on your lens and the perspective as well. You know. Because, for example, I remember I was watching like this podcast with uh, Bill Maher, and uh-huh. he actually made it, there's this point like. Out of all the primates, human beings are the only ones that have the nuclear family. Every other primates, they don't have that stuff. Mm-hmm. The kids, you know, like the cops, they're raised by their community. Every like the young ones are everybody's jungle, basically. Yeah. And I actually do wonder. I th- that's, that's how we used to be like that, though. Sometimes I wonder, was the adoption of the family the wise thing to do? I think it was maybe maybe it was yeah. a necessity. But, but, maybe, but see, before we used to be like that. Before everyone was raised by the group. But it's not until humans learned, or men learned about paternity certainty. Like we we, we actually figured out, hey, me having sex with this chick creates babies. Because before we didn't know that. Our fucking Yanov ancestors, they just like oh, oh. <laughs> they just they just fucked and they ate and it was all one you know just one huge emotion cluster fuck. Good old times. Man. Yeah, the good old times. <laughs> good old times, right? But now, but then as soon as we became you know self aware. We became self-aware and we noticed that, hey, me banging this chick is is causing her to have a baby. And yeah. that's some... and that's why she's fucking pissing at me. Yeah. That's, why she, that's, that's why she's throwing shit at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's why she's throwing the violence back then, okay. you know? Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Uh, throwback for the ladies <laughs> who are listening to this. <laughs> I get, I get if you want to get a man's attention, throw shit at him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. Is that what's that? Before it used to be like that, once we figured out, you know, paternity certainty. And paternity certainty, that's a huge thing in biology. That's like... Paternity certainty, that is like a huge fucking determinant of, yes. of male behavior. Yes. So yeah. that's, so basically, I mean, before we were naive and we didn't know any better. And now that we've known, it's it seems like it's kind of like justice, you know, justice came into it. It's the opposite of care. We became more justice oriented, the masculine, you know, order, justice, um, focus on, you know, equality, equity, outcome, all that good shit. Or that Fixing stuff. shit. Exactly. Yeah. Fixing it. Yeah. Because there's, life is a problem. Yeah. Just bringing order. Yeah. So yeah. before we used to be like that, I mean. I think that there's there's pros and cons. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's better or worse. There's traps, everything, like I said. Um, but it would be, I, I definitely you know, sometimes think about it, man. Imagine if I was just we were still like that back in the old days when I could just fuck any chick and not have to worry about anything like that, and there'd be like no issues. I, th- I think you still had to worry a little bit. I like know. I don't like I think there was instances where of course like you would be able to have fuck and just leave. Uh-huh. But I think I don't know, man. I feel like consciousness was still kind of there. Of course, and like the filter, just just because you're away does not mean does not mean that you're gonna feel guilt, you know. Mm-hmm. Of like, course, you, know, you get you have your hormones like oxy- oxytocin and all that stuff, creating yeah, feelings yeah. of bonding and love and all that, all that stuff. I I think like the the idea of like family was a more progressive aspect. Oh yeah. I think like polyam. I think like polyamory. Polygamy. Like just a collective view of sex, uh-huh. a community view of sex is conservative and like kind of in the past mm. and like I think okay. you know what I'm saying I think it's kind of paradoxical yeah that's um, true yeah. but like cause dude we, we can't waste our time dude we have so much time to like to like celebrate with our loved ones we can't just be wasting it in the sense of like community cause if you ever lived in towns that are very like into like the collectivized community uh-huh. aspect they're kind of shitty bro <laughs> <laughs> go to Taos bro <laughs> go to Taos they're like that dude how's it how's it I've never experienced it how's it it's just like what what's I guess the main the biggest drawbacks in your opinion I think the biggest drawback draw, drawbacks is that you don't develop intimacy with anyone oh um, okay that's it you know like you the idea of cl- like a collective community is friendships right and yeah like, you know you help me I help you um but like you don't, you don't you don't develop anything special or unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's all homogenized. Oh, okay, I get yeah. I see that. Yeah. But like, just if you want an example, just go to Taos for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and we'll you'll do. see like what I mean. You know? Probably be like for now, I'm like you know, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> like, fucking, trying to get rides off you and. <laughs> Come on, man! We're all you, one, bro. Two casas, mi casa. They like, they like criticize you that you're like driving a car while picking them up hitchhiking. You know, it's like. You fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Talos. So 
So. Where are we at? What's the length on this podcast so far? Uh, we've been talking for like... Half an hour, I'd say. It's 44 good. minutes. Already? That's pretty good. Damn. It's pretty quick. good. Damn. Damn. Wait, go Let's call it. Uh, let's see. Um, I think we should make some closing remarks. I don't know. Maybe like segue into the next podcast. If it's a success. Um, if you like this, uh, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Donate to our Patreon. Uh-huh. What's up? Donate to our Patreon, our OnlyFans. Yeah, donate. <laughs> donate, please. We got tuition to play. I mean, yeah, to pay. We got tuition to pay. I got bills. <laughs> <laughs> Student loans. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Well, th- thanks for listening and uh, peace. Talk to you later. Anything? All right. Yeah. Okay.